A project I've always wanted to try making is a lampshade made with string. Today, we're going to design and make a star-shaped pendant light using laser-cut wood and multicolored yarn. To design this project, I use a software called Rhinoceros and start by drawing a square as a guide for the overall size of the star. I draw an equilateral triangle and use the mirror command to flip it along its center to get this six-pointed star. I use the scale command to shrink the star so it fits within the square, which ensures that the overall shape can be cut in my Glowforge laser cutter. Using the trim command, I remove all the intersecting lines inside of the star. Next, I draw slots and place them around all of the points of the star. These slots will allow the vertical panels to be glued into place. I draw a circle cutout and locate it at the center of the star where the light fixture is going to be installed. Then, I move on to designing the vertical panels, which will be roughly 8 inches tall and sloped away from the star at roughly 15 degrees so that the star gets larger as it gets further away from the base. To make the process of assembling this product easier, I designed evenly spaced slots along the outer edge of the panels to hold the yarn in place at regular intervals. Since the yarn will be pulling the vertical panels inward towards the center, I designed a frame that would support the panels in place. For the initial design, I used the hexagon for its shape because it would fit within the cutting limitations of my laser cutter. Next, I created a 3D model of the design to double check the overall joints and configuration will work as intended. To do this, I extruded each shape, rotated the panels so they were vertical, and moved each piece into place. The hexagon shaped frame didn't fit with the rest of the design, so I decided to go back and figure out a way to get a star shaped frame to work. This is what the updated 3D model looks like with the new top frame. When the design was complete, I gathered my materials including quarter inch cherry plywood, paper masking tape, maxi cure super glue, two multicolored bundles of yarn, a utility knife, and a pendant light kit. I applied paper masking tape to the quarter inch cherry plywood to protect it from dirt and debris during the laser cutting process. I loaded the material into my Glowforge laser cutter and started the process of cutting the material. This is the first time that I've tried making a lampshade using a wood frame and colored yarn, but it's a project that's been on my list for over a year. I've always loved the way that a dense layer of strings can diffuse and reflect light to create a dynamic product. When the pieces were cut, I took them out of my Glowforge and placed them on my work table. I removed the paper masking tape from all the pieces to reveal the beautiful cherry plywood. Then, I brought over a natural oil finish and applied it to the surfaces of the plywood using a lint-free cloth. I love how easy it is to apply an oil finish and how it brings out the beautiful color of the cherry plywood. Once the oil is dry, I apply MaxiCure Super Superglue to the bottom of each panel, align them with the slots in the base, and push them into place. I repeat this with all of the panels. Next, I apply glue to the slots at each corner of the larger triangular frame, align them with the slots in the panels, and carefully move each one into place. I hold the frame and panels together to give the glue a few seconds to dry. Now comes the fun part. I bring over two bundles of multicolored yarn, tie one of them to the first slot on one panel, and create a triangle. I repeat this step with the other yarn, but use the adjacent vertical panels.
Now, I repeat this over and over again until the yarn fills the entire length of the panel. When I finished installing the yarn, I brought over my pennant light kit and installed it in the circle cutout of the base. Since you can see the light bulb through the lampshade, I decided to use an Edison bulb because it's designed to be visible with or without a lampshade. And this is how the star-shaped pennant light came out. I love the way that the multicolored yarn looks with the Edison bulb at the center of the light fixture. If you enjoyed this video, check out this playlist of my other wood crafts and consider subscribing. I'll see you again next week.